Generally speaking, people are incredibly confused. By the way, if you ever want to get impressed at how incredibly stupid people are in general, find some people that you really think are awesome and go to their Twitter page. I don't think anybody's awesome, and I really do mean that. I ran across some idiot's Twitter page. Famous person. But yeah, go to the, any Twitter page of someone that you really like, and uh, you know, of course, if you're not very smart, you won't really see anything. It's like, what do you mean? I, I agree with this stuff. It's like, yeah, too smart. <laughs> but if you're if you're moderately smart, you go to Twitter, find like a dozen people you look up to, and read their uh, Twitter feed, and you know, just you'll be so disgusted. I mean, people are just so incredibly ignorant. Um, regarding science, this is a light mod, by the way. Regarding science, people think now, original science, Aristotelian and Platonic and Pythagorean, was ultimately the search for truth, but these people were not interested in uh, physics for the sake of physics, which they did find very interesting, and invention, but uh, physics for the sake of understanding metaphysical principles. And of course, they engaged in retroduction, abductive reasoning, to arrive at the ultimate nature of things. The quest for truth is not the goal of science for the past many, many hundreds of years, actually well over a thousand years. Science is not the quest for truth. Scientists today, by the way, are not Aristotelian scientists, nor are they Platonic science uh, scientists. They are fundamentally mathematicians. Um, every modern scientist today is an atomist, and what they do is they process and generate and calculate information. And uh, they look at uh, what the outcomes of these experiments are. But this is all information. Information, you may or may not know it, and you guarantee you weren't taught this in school because you were never taught anything important in school, is that information requires wisdom to process. You could give a hundred people the exact same pile of information and have them all process it in their brains, but due to wisdom, or usually the lack of wisdom thereof, all of these people with a pile of information, which people think modern science is about truth. It's not. It's about crunching numbers and processing of information. Information is one thing, okay? Descriptions are not explanations. Modern scientists are not truth seekers at all. What they actually are are people that calculate and describe phenomena. Okay, now the ancient Egyptians were really, really good mathematicians. I mean, they would, they would do stuff today that even amazes us. Okay, they had no computers. They had their own versions of calculators. But their descriptions and their observations, both astronomical and mechanical and whatnot, had crazy ass explanation. Well, God Thoth did this and that was this and that. Now, we're talking about, for their time, an extremely technologically advanced group of people that had crazy-ass explanations that are as insane and stupid as modern sick cults, <coughs> L. Ron Hubbard, and, uh, and the like. Science comes up with descriptions and information. Information is not truth. Information is not truth at all. Truth are explanations that are accurate. Um, people think that uh, the idiot Einstein, and the reason I call Einstein an idiot, because that's exactly what Nikola Tesla called him. He also called him a fuzzy-haired crackpot. Einstein's did not get um, the, uh, the Nobel Prize for, uh, for uh, relativity, which is being proven more and more inaccurate every day. And by the way, Tesla railed endlessly on the notion of curved space. Space has no properties, he very, very succinctly said, and he's correct. Tesla, if he's right about anything, he's right about that. Space has absolutely no properties at all, it has attributes. Uh, Tess, I mean, Einstein did not win uh, the Nobel Prize for that. He won it for the photoelectric effect, and uh, he made observations that were actually made by uh, Hertz and J.J. Uh, Thompson, so they actually discovered it first, not Einstein at all, but these observations and these descriptions of experiments having been performed are in no way connected to the explanations. The same di distinction between the ancient Egyptians and their technology. Technology and massive amounts of information and doing stunning things which stun people. It's like, how on earth did they move these 
million pound boulders and chisel them with hairline laser like perfection and do this and that. Obviously their technology and uh, science for their age was incredible because we can't do that today. But their explanations for things, every written record that we have, of course, is, you know, it's, it's religious bunk. Modern science is no different than the craziest ass religion or cult that you could imagine. Their observations, their information, and their descriptions, and that's what scientists do. They make observations, they calculate, they make more observations. And if this leads to a discovery, that's wonderful. But that's information. You can make a huge discovery of like a new phenomena and have uh, everybody else validate your experiment. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't mean your explanation of what the hell's going on in that experiment is going to be accurate. Because that is truth. Truth is neither information nor descriptions, which is all modern science does. They try to whip out explanations, but the two are absolutely not connected at all. The same is true of someone that's uh, like an expert car builder, you know? I mean, the guy could like take apart a car blindfold and every little nut and bolt, and he's an expert on torque rate. That doesn't mean he actually knows how to drive a car. I mean, clear distinction made between information and descriptions and explanations. Um, I tweet, and I've seen so many things like it. It just made me want to make this video because it sickens me that people think that science is the, the quest for truth. Science is the quest for truth has not existed for way over a thousand years. Scientists don't do that today. They collect information, they perform experiments, they draw conclusions, make hypotheses. Um, it does not mean that their explanations for phenomena are correct. Einstein and the theory of relativity and quantum mechanics is a huge load of cat scat. It's bullshit piled straight to the moon and back. It's, it's illogical, insane, dualistic, and there's no dualities in nature, none whatsoever. The notion that everything is a, a bumping particle in interaction, I mean, this doesn't explain EPR, doesn't explain instantaneous action at a distance, doesn't explain magnetism. Everything are fields and fields are not particles. Um, quantum physics and general relativity are complete bunko that uh, insult the consciousness of anybody that has even the slightest whiff of wisdom in their head. Science today and scientists are not interested in the truth. They certainly will foam at the mouth and tell you that they are, but they are not. Truth seekers, they are people that process information, make descriptions, but that has absolutely no connection to explanations and explanations of a phenomena or a discovery is the truth, but that's not what scientists do. They will write descriptions of what they think is going on. Well, we made this observation, we confirmed it, we had 20 other people confirm it, now, here's my crazy-ass explanation for what's going on. Reproducible experiments and the accuracy of your testing and retesting and having other people test it in your community has no connection, nor is it directly relevant to uh, uh, the explanation of what's actually going on. This is stuff that they should have taught you in high school or college, but you were never taught this stuff. You were never taught it at all. The next time someone tells you the science is the quest for truth is a lying asshole or they're completely brain dead because that is not what modern science does. That's actually the realm of metaphysicians and true philosophers. And by philosopher, I don't mean Western existentialist uh, knuckle-dragging moron. I mean true philosophia, which means the love of wisdom. The truth and wisdom and explanations are all one thing, by the way. Wisdom, explanations, and truth, that's one. Yeah. Descriptions and experiments and data calculation, that's not truth. That's, uh, that's a probative experimentation and duplication. It's kind of like uh, what the idiot uh, Edison did. If he had a brain, it wouldn't have taken him a zillion years and 10,000 tries or whatever it was to make a light bulb. 
Even Nikola Tesla made fun of uh, Thomas Edison for being such a, a pathetic dumbass that it took him, you know, forever to find a light bulb that worked. You know, if he'd actually sat back in his chair and actually thought about it, he would have discovered uh, the way to do it a lot sooner. You sit there and that's, that's not the way you invent, by the way. That's actually the sign of a bad inventor. Um, Thomas Edison was a tinkerer, by the way. He couldn't even understand why DC motors were an extremely bad idea for power distribution. Nikola Tesla told him that you don't, you know, Tesla knew that DC was not the way to go for power distribution to people's households. But Thomas Edison wasn't going to hear any of that shit. That's the reason why Thomas Edison paid people to uh, travel around the country electrocuting uh, poor animals to death. There's even a videotape of him electrocuting that giant circus elephant with an enormous amount of, uh, of AC voltage. He's like, listen, this is the dangers of... You can look at this up, by the way. Don't worry. This is the dangers of AC current. He'd uh, have people travel around uh, frying animals. Like, oh my God, AC's dangerous. <laughs> Isn't that the, the, the thinking methodology of someone who's borderline demonic? You know, Tesla knows that AC is far, far superior to DC. But Thomas Edison's way to crush that, which is completely true, but Thomas Edison wanted to crush that. He's like, no, I mean, what we're going to do is we're going to have people travel around and fry helpless little animals with AC current, and that'll scare the shit out of people. That'll teach them. They'll all uh, think AC current is bad after that. I mean, that's it's pretty demonic. Thomas Edison was a prick. Yeah, let me say that again. Thomas Edison was a prick. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Science is not the quest for truth. It's not. And I've got nothing against science. But descriptions are not explanations. I wasn't going to have that tattooed across my forehead, not literally. Descriptions are not and never have been explanations. Thank you and goodbye.